Yo, what's going on everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Truck of Tomorrow series. I'm excited to get on here. Um, it's out of Richmond though, so I'm not excited for this track. <laughs> um, Richmond and Iowa are like one of my worst tracks, like period. And I was actually practicing just a little bit ago, and oh well, we're using a custom setup. Let's just say that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, here is the settings that I'll be running with. Pretty standard stuff, usual. Um, 115 difficulty, 100% race length. Normal stuff all around, single sage, strict yellow, all that fun stuff. And then all the stuff over here on this side. Pretty usual stuff, nothing too new. I'm excited for it. We're going to have everything on normal, so we'll see who has problems and who doesn't. We'll see who <clears throat> DNQs and who doesn't. <laughs> so, um... Because if you notice in the points down below, Sheldon Creed has only started in one race and finished last in that race, and it was at Watkins Glen. Ross uh, Chastain, who in real life now has made it to the champion, uh, championship four, has started in two races, one DNF and the other like a 13th place, and that was at Chicago Land last week. But we're at Richmond now. It's a brand new adventure. I have no idea what to expect. So, show you all the settings that um or the setup I'm running with. It's actually from Red Four Four Two Four, so it's basically his Xfinity setup, but I actually implemented it for the truck side. So I think it works pretty well. Um, the only uh, changes I made are the uh, weight for the wedge, as well as the uh, brake bias and steering offset. Honestly, it works well. It'll get the job done. So, without further ado, let's just go straight into qualifying and see who gets that extra championship point for your uh, getting pole. Go, go, go! Because practice is for wimps. Alright, so coming off three, you can actually. Uh... Good afternoon, everyone. We are here at Richmond today for the truck series. Fast racers today are green field and custom. Don't count out to age. Yeah, seriously, don't count them out yet. Thank you so much, uh, Zero, for the color commentary. What, seriously, what were we going to do with, without you? Alright, that was a good three and four. It was a scrappy one and two, but not a big deal. 22 seconds, that's not good. 23rd. It is so close around here, chat. Like, seriously. It was a 20.7 for the pole. We are 1.3 seconds off, but in, in race time, I know we'll be better. That was a scrappy one and two. Yeah, that was a scrappy one and two. So, let's see who got the, uh, who got the championship point. And it's Myatt Snyder on pole. Wow. Man. Who would have thunk, honestly? You got stupid Phoenix? Well, I mean, so is real life, so it makes sense. By the way, I did not see Sheldon Creed in that, so I wonder if he's not here. So, chat, hope, sit back, enjoy. We have 225 laps coming. Let's have a good race. Mike Snyder's still up here, wow. Well, that's because he's been dominant, so maybe he needs to turn his season around, because he is currently below the cut line. Joe Nemechek, uh, failed technical inspection. Damn. Jordan Anderson, though, has been really good. Zero, how are you doing today, man? I know you're at Stupid Phoenix. I'm sorry to hear that, but how's your day going? How are you enjoying your Friday night? And we are green. We're gonna slowly but surely work our way up. Don't get into too much trouble, so... Stay high up here. Hold your line. Just patience. All right, you're clear. Got one down low now. That's gonna be the key. Qualified pole. You qualified pole. Oh my God! Who just Mason Massey just demolished my rear end? What the hell happened? That was not Mason Massey, that was Josh Balicki. 
By the way, I did not see Sheldon Creed in here. Oh my god. Man, he is just DNQing every single race. So yeah, we're just gonna just not pit here and just go straight in. Yeah, what the hell happened? We lost some spots there and he just dive bombed and spun himself out. Driver. Be ready. Hold your line. I was expecting uh, some kind of rear end damage there. What the hell happened? All right, well, interesting start to uh, the race. Still there. Inside. Needless to say. Still there. Car on the inside. We go on the inside here, but Nima check holds us up. And you get to the inside here. There we go, we got to the inside. Because Richmond, there's only one fast way around here, and it's actually the, the low side. Stay on the bottom here. Like, there's no playing with the lines either. It's either you're high or you're low. And if you're going high, you're losing time. Stay on the bottom here. Don't love to drive behind me. I know he's doing pretty good. In terms of the points. Man, it's so nice for the truck series to actually be back in uh, Richmond in real life. Uh, next year. That being said, um, Richmond is going to be one of the one of those tracks where they're just by themselves at and uh, along with the IndyCar series. That being said though, all those people that want an IndyCar Cup doubleheader don't realize that we already have IndyCar and truck doubleheaders. Oh, we're making moves though. We're, we're making our way forward. Get us on a long run. We'll make progress. 21st is nothing. That was a great lap. That was a good lap. Clean around, Gustine. But yeah, how how is everyone going uh, today? Like seriously, um, I am exhausted. I'll say that. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. 225 laps is gonna seem like an eternity, but I'll power through it. What did y'all think of the truck race? If you watched it. Nice to see the uh, the sewer freezing to see. Um, uh, his first championship four appearance. Brett Moffat, we knew was was uh, All right, you're clear. uh was uh, getting in. Ross basically did not just crash out, and he was in. Matt Crafton though. Dude drove the wheel off that thing. From nine back to uh, making it in solidly, yeah. He overdrove that truck. The crew chief is in the house. Yo, NASCAR, how you doing today, my guy? We're just talking about the truck race. All right, so just a reminder for the Truck of Tomorrow series, um, we are only allowed three four-tire stops. So we have to use our tire management wisely. There's already been one caution, and that's when Josh Bullock, he literally ran there. into my rear for no reason. Richmond is hands down probably my worst track. All right, you're clear. The car on the outside. 
now. Well, the guy I choose to win the championship ISNT even going to be their fur trucks. Oh, what? Were you choose were you in for Austin Hill? Still there. I mean, honestly, he had a really good year. He shouldn't be down on himself because his uh, post race interview seemed like. Oh, hello. Yeah. It seemed like he was like really down and out. Careful, still there. He right. had a great year. You know, getting that breakout win in Daytona. I mean, that's why. You won stupid. Nice, Zero. What are you talking about? That's awesome. It's not stupid so much if you tamed it. Car there on the inside. All right, clear low. Well, here I am at stupid Richmond. Stay low, stay low. Trying to get 16, stupid 16 plays from Josh Ram. Car on the outside now, all clear. Got the car low now. All clear. By the way, that stupid Richmond soon enough. Most likely. It's starting to get a little loose, though. Trying to dive it down into the corner and get a good. Four races. Whoa, Josh Ram. You know, I accidentally tapped him off at two, and he's just like, uh, going into three. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but okay. There we go. Job done. So it looks like Brett Moffitt uh, took the lead now. All right, you're clear. Okay, my picks for the champions for the three series trucks cracked and spinty Algier Cup Drex. Bristol and Richmond are back to back, and I only have one short track car. How Ooh. do you think I should play it out? Use a weaker car for Brist. I meant Joey. I uh, use a weaker car, yeah. You gotta save up yourself. But no, um, like seriously, NASCAR, um, like honestly, those are really good picks. I like them. And oh my god, Decker's right on her tail. She actually has decent pace. Oh, you think Joey's gonna take it? Not your ex, correct? But honestly, we're doing halfway decent. Honestly, 16th is basically right around where I and am imagining. For finishing another race. Emoji happy tears. Emoji happy tears. Emoji happy tears. Oh my God, her. That one inside. Apparently, all clear. Ooh. Her we scanner. Are the ones pit with her. Right, you're clear. How are you feeling about your car setup today? You did have that. Oh, NASCAR, that question's for you. Feels a little loose right now, but plenty of time to work on it. Yes, Craft and Algae are enjoying it. Oh, I hope all guy makes it. Got one inside. You're all clear on the bottom. Whoa. 
way too loose off the corner. Gotta give Natalie room. Yellow South, Acker down. Oof. Still got a lot of room to go. Yeah, we got to go. Do we use I up our. Kyle Bush makes it. Makes it a champ four? I get ya. Brett Moffat's in the lead. Do we come on down and use up our first uh, tire? Everyone from 27th on back is pitting. Or do we just take rights? Because we gotta tighten this thing up. No. No pit? Okay. I won't pit. Don't he pit. Oh man, someone spun their tires on the inside here. Sacked up the entire bottom line. Still there. Car outside. Hold your line. I think it was Austin Hill. Stay on the bottom. And we're still here. Okay. Still there. Still there. Got one down low now. Guess I'm You're gonna find out Tuesday if we are getting the tickets to Homestead. Ooh. Outside, outside. Careful, still there. Gotta right. make sure the sponsors have them for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Who has the fifth for tomorrow? What's up, Deep Breeze? How you doing today, man? And why do you say Tuesday? Um, who's my pick for tomorrow? Uh, Bell. Got one in Whoa, just too loose. Not sure that's the day they gave my friend. Inside. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about when you're gonna find out who made a champ four. Sorry. I misunderstood. Got one inside. Got one down low now. I have to give him room. I'm just gonna get freight trains here on the top. Joe Nemechek's making his way through the field though with fresh tires. Oh, you do one line after this. You're all clear on the bottom. Inside. Am I doing online after this? That was the original plan. I'm going to move that to tomorrow, though, because um, I am... Chad, I'm not going to lie. I am exhausted. I, I know I put it for today, but we will make open lobbies tomorrow. Got one inside. Okay. Inside. Uh, I'm just getting freight trained here on the top. No worries. Still there. Yeah, thanks for understanding, Chad. I've had a long week of uh, of teaching, and for anyone that doesn't know, I only get like four hours, four and a half hours of sleep a night. I thrive for the weekends. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I'm not going to definitely have, like, a Sonoma stream where it takes, like, two and a half hours. Stay high, stay high. I was not expecting that race to go that long. What's up? Well, someone, someone's sitting around here. Lizko. Stay low. Welcome to the stream, man. Who wins someone? I, I am sorry to hear that you happened. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Careful, still there. Wait, let's go. Wait, it's sunny, right? How you doing today? Careful, Been a while. All clear. Am 
my yeah. pick for Sunday. Oh man, been a while. Thank. You. What brings you to this neck of the woods? Sorry, just a person I know in real life, chat. So nice to see you around here. Um, who's my pick for Sunday? I mean, uh, I mean, it's hard to go against Kyle Busch, you know. I mean, he's just so dominant around ISM. Winning there last year in, in the spring, you know, he's hard to go up against. I mean, I know Chase uh, got first in final practice. However, they were on mock trial, uh, mock qualifying runs, I should say. Careful, still there. I allow you hoping back and forth between streams. NASCAR fan 1819, what are your thoughts on the season so far? Do you think it was a good idea for the team to pick up an unqualified race early? Just happened to see you streaming, thought it join and see what it's about. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Thanks for stopping on now. Um, like seriously, um, I know I need to, I need to head on out to uh, locals more. Um, but uh, yeah, this is essentially what I do on uh, the weekends. Oh, any any chance I can. It's a good, it's a good stress reliever, honestly. Essentially, just go around in circles, you know, just like a regular uh, NASCAR uh, race would. For me, it's fascinating stuff, but yeah. The last one I just went to. Oh yeah, did you? I like what we've been able to do so far to win this truck season. I like what I... Oh yeah, no, for sure. Get that crew chief back up, you know? You said you were in Ohio. You should go to Eldora. I want to. Like, honestly, that's on my list of places to go. Like, I would love to go to Eldora for uh, the truck race. Gotta wear uh, some, like, old painter's clothes, though, because you know I'm getting dirty. So like, uh, it feels so weird, honestly. It's like, it's like tight end. Not even the truck race. Go for the King's Royal World of Outlaw Race. Oh really? Okay, just not even for the truck race. Okay, all right. I mean, I kn I know like Eldora isn't just for like the truck race. I'm I'm just saying in terms of like the three national series, I have always had plans to go to the truck race there at Eldora. Like my my bucket list tracks are Daytona, uh, Eldora, Bristol, and Darlington. I guess Dega, you can put Dega in there as well. But like, I feel like Dega and uh, Daytona kind of go hand in hand. I went to Indy. I don't recommend. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. If you ain't first, you're last. Um, what's it called though? Um, I went to well, I went to Indy for like uh, Indy 500. And you know that that is interesting because you know that's like the grand spectacle of racing. You know. However, going and uh, going there for the uh, cup race, you know, that's that's different. All right, so we're definitely making progress. About to pass Tyler Dipple. Stay on the bottom. All right, you're clear. Which actually got reinstated by NASCAR, you know. He's actually been having a decent uh, rookie season. However, Harrison Burton is tearing up the field. They're going to be coming up behind us here soon. But 
I see uh, position is straight ahead, so. Richmond is such a tough track, though. And we won't be pitting for at least another 35 laps if it stays green. So essentially, we'll be pitting on lap 100. We have a long way to go. Just gotta protect these tires. But yeah, how's everyone's Friday night going? Anything Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, Tony Stewart owns that track, and I know he uh, frequently uh, races on his own track, so... You have a very high chance of seeing him there. So one thing I have to really look out for is off a of two when I'm like bouncing around off a of turn, like I'm getting really, oh. well, I think that answered my question right there. Everyone's pitting, so I'm coming down as well. And we're the last truck on the lead lap, so <laughs> we got lucky there. Stream tonight. Did you stream? And I missed it? All right, so we got we got to tighten up, tighten up, and put put an extra pound in uh, the rights. See what see what we get there. Harrison Burns in lead. Brent Rose is second. Okay. Gained two spots right there on pit road, so hey, Joe Neva checks all the way to the front, so you know he's gonna drip, sink like a stone. So it's a good thing we're on the outside, I guess. Weirdly enough. Looks like they will be making the wedge adjustment as well as getting four fresh tires. I never got to meet Tony Stewart, but I saw him in the pits at a local dirt track race. Too many people were around him and he was getting on. I mean, it kind of makes sense, you know? Tony Stewart is like... A hot commodity item, you know? Oh, Joe Nemechek's just gonna be a huge cork in the uh, bottle right here. Ben Rhodes to the front. Which, by the way, is anyone, like, kind of upset that uh, Ben Rhodes didn't perform well in that beautiful uh, Halvaline scheme? Or is that just me? I think I'm actually too tight on uh, entry now. I can roll the center pretty well. I also saw Casey Kong this year at a local dirt track race. Got right, to see him, but I didn't say All hi. Clear. Could have because there was no one around him. Oh, I'm that's nice. Michael, Kurt Busch, Kenza, Carl Edwards. Careful, still there. I can't say I've met any drivers, but I did meet David Letterman. Weirdly Still enough. Will win championship in my opinion. Still there. Yo, Dryline, welcome to the stream, man. Bottom's looking good. Alright, here we go. We're making progress now. Stewie will win the championship? I I mean honestly, any of the championship four realistically have a chance. Alright, you're clear. All four of them have been really good throughout the season. Matt Crafton's been uh, super consistent. Natalie Decker is up there in the top 10, by the way. We live in a society. Um, oh my god. Josh Ream came out of nowhere, so... We, get, we got moved. 
by Ross Chassain putting us three wide there. Um, yeah, Matt Crafton uh, has been like super consistent. Uh, Brett Mob has just been. Old school, welcome to the stream, man. Man. All these people meeting drivers, and I'm just sitting here just like, I can pretend I'm one. Oh my god. Um, when I when I lost that bet and I had to uh, buy a uh, piece of Natalie Decker merch, I think I told y'all, and I even posted it on Twitter, that it came with a signed photo. So now I can, so I can honestly say, not only do I own a Natalie Decker shirt, but I also own a. Uh, as a driver or a commentator. I guess 18th is just... Oh, oh, oh. Who was that? Chris? Was that Christian Eckes? Driver in like zero four. Okay, in 04. Is the shirt pink? No, it's black. Um, it's black. I can, I can post a Twitter of it. Um, a Twitter. Oh my god, what am I, 50 years old? Um, I can post a uh, pic of it on my Twitter. Of um, It's a black shirt. Literally, it's like ND for Natalie Decker. And I have a signed photo from her as well. That she sent with it. I don't know. I don't know why. But she's up there in 12th and is upsetting me because she's beating me. Rich I just want to say, Richmond is my worst track. And I'm doing my best, Chad. Coming to the green, driver. You ready? But no, dry line. That's awesome, man. Uh, meeting uh, Kyle Petty. Well, it looks like Christian Eckes is the first person out of this race. Still there. Are you best friends with Natalie Decker? Oh, man. Well, all I can say is, have you ever seen myself and Natalie Decker in the same room? Hey, hello. Exactly. My alter ego, if you will. Maybe I am just Natalie Decker. Oh, I am too tight now. <laughs> My specialty, my, um... There. My resume includes um, uh, whining on the uh, radio All and clear. also being able to uh, crash under caution. That's a that's a special quality of mine. No one else can do that but me. That's a decent turn. Could have been better. Takes pro skill to crash under caution. Yes, it does. It, you have to go under uh, and get a license for it. It's a long and vigorous process, but I mean, you have to be really dedicated in order to master the art. But any, but anyone, if they have the proper uh, training can uh, crash under caution. You just, first you just gotta believe in yourself, because if you don't believe it, no one else will. Oh my god, Tyler Ankrum just... 
Yeah, I'm, I'm far too tight now. I mean, it's going to help me on the long run, but it's really hurting my short run. Just cannot connect the truck to uh, the yellow line. Todd was coming, so I, uh... Inside. All clear. Just kind of had to relieve that position. Coming up to 100 laps in. Like I said, Richmond is definitely not my track. I love watching it. I hate racing. Yeah, I'm far too tight now. I want to say it's because of the, uh, the tire adjustment, the air pressure. thing though is that I keep going slightly below the yellow line and it keeps pushing me back. Like it literally is throwing me up the track. And it's really messing up my lines. Is that Kyle Benjamin? That is. All the Nice trucks have really good speed this weekend. Careful, still there. I hope um, Ross gets his uh, car shield uh, truck and uh, truck scheme in uh, the next DLC update, or at least the True North one, because that scheme was mm, bueno. Is that John Nemechek? Oh my God, it is. So we have two more sets of tires uh, sitting in uh, pit road right now that we can mess around with. Sitting here in 17, not really doing a whole lot, but cautions have been really coming out very frequently. Like, you know, we have plenty of time before our next stop. So far, only one truck out of this race, and that um, that truck is Christian Eckes. His day, his season started off so well at Kansas with that runner-up. However, it has just not been there ever since. He may be uh, the Arkham Menard Series. Uh, champion, but he is not going to be champion of 
the truck of tomorrow if he uh, continues racing like this. We've been really uh, hitting uh, consistent lap times, though, so I'm okay with that. I mean, a long run is going to hurt us because we are, oh, I don't know, we're really tight right now. Then again, it may help us because as the tires wear, we get looser and looser, so it's going to come to us eventually. But my Snyder's back in the lead. I don't know. Win here will be huge. Lock him into the playoffs. He is well below the cut line. We have John Niemicek and Josh Rayum. so slightly, Joe is gaining ground on me. Three and four is definitely the my worst spot. Can take the most adjusting there. I've also been adjusting my line. I'm also attacking the corner a lot more. Entering higher. Let's see if it's working or not. It seems to be like one of those things that's just up in the air on that. He's out to lunch right now. Let me shake my magic eight ball and see if it's uh, the results are there. Mm, no. Spotter tells me halfway to go. Harrison Burton now back in the lead. Who would you say is the worst driver? Natalie Decker, Danica Patrick, Adam, Chase Ayoub. Ooh. Tough choice. And like in what regard? Like just period or for the win? I don't know. It really is hard to beat Natalie. Like, real talk. He finally got below us there. He was looking for an opening. Careful, still there. To 
just let him go. Starting to get really loose off the corners. Inside. Just dove it down there. We were never a race winning car. Very long run right now. Wiki. You're all clear up top. We got a car low now. And Ben Rose also makes his presence known. There he goes. I know it's not actually going to come up, but we have 35 laps until we need a pit. Here's Stuart P2 freezing, which, by the way, in the real life truck race, there was so many times I thought Stuart was just going to was going to give up the lead there at uh, Brandon Jones. Which, by the way, Brandon Jones literally is better in a truck than he is in Xfinity. 
based on his few truck starts uh, this year. definitely not worst driver status especially when we have Riley Earps uh, coming into the uh, coming into the sport next year you can clearly tell uh, who's forking over the bills Sauter and Grand Infinger. Basically all my championship rivals are having good days and I'm not. Later, Johnny Sauter. And looks like he's going to extend that gap. Hold your line. Got one inside. All clear. I am back. Emoji slightly smiling face. Emoji slightly smiling face. Emoji slightly smiling face. Welcome back, NASCAR. How are you? So. We've really settled in here in 18th. We are gapping Jordan Anderson, who is five and a half behind us. And even more so on Parker Kligerman. However, Got one down low now. we're dealing with uh, the lead lap traffic. And considering they've just been booting me out of the way. Like right there. Other than that, you haven't really missed much. We are 25 laps away from making green flag stops. We'll see how that goes. Joe Newman checking out. Where Kyle Bush was in the second practice because I rather him do better in the first practice for his own. I mean, why do you say that? Why first over second? Tires are getting worn. Because the first one was in the heat of the sun like a race. Okay, I see. I mean, at the same time, uh, the uh, the second practice represents a late race. Clear high, clear high. 
Oh my god. We just got... Just got hooked. Spire didn't tell me I, I wasn't clear. He went all the way to and the... Brandon Jones still can't win a freaking truck race. MOG happy tears. MOG happy tears. MOG happy tears. Yeah, we're pitting. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna come down just a tick. Leave the wedge where it is. I want to try something. I hate Jones. So like literally, what I was trying there is Dylan Lupton was all the way up to the top, literally all the way up to the top, and Brett Moffat was there. I thought he was. We were going to clear him, so I just went up to the top. But then. Dylan Lupton was still there. And no one told me that we weren't clear. We're just going to classify as a racing incident. Careful, still there. Still there. Stay I can put up with Brandon Jones, but Eric Jones, MOG frowning face, MOG frowning face, MOG frowning face. Stay low. Which, see, that's different, like, because usually it's the other way around. Like, for Still me, there. definitely, it's the other way around. up in front of Natalie. Let's see how well this run goes. He is still better than Chase Go. MOG happy tears. MOG happy tears. MOG happy tears. Not in the wins column. Batten is getting Natalie Decker by Natalie Careful, Decker. Who has not? Oh, never mind. Three wide middle. Three wide middle. Thanks. See, he told me there. I know what I mean. Yeah. To the 15th. Okay, we're making we're making progress, chat. Now, theoretically, we could make it the rest of the way. Will there be a caution? Most likely. Because we have one more set of tires down uh, on pit road. 
that we can uh, work with. I just want to give props to every single truck series driver for making five six wide work. Energy, happy tears. Energy, happy tears. Energy, happy tears. Energy, happy tears. Inside. All clear. And making it look good too. Like that's how you do it, Xfinity series. Outside, outside. All right, you're clear. Terrible three and four right there. Inside. Careful, still there. Just had to let Todd go and go. That's position right there. Still there. Terrible three and four right there. Caution were to come out like in the next. Because these tires won't necessarily be dead, but they will be in the process of dying. Pinty may have the most durable body, but the trucks and cup can stick five six wide. Yeah, right. Which I can't wait for like cup to go to composite bodies. Having metal so like any kind of contact so, like literally ends your day. I mean it shouldn't be like that. Whatever happened to Rubbings Racing? Two one pro tip, Rubbing is racing. Where did you hear they're getting composite bodies? No, I'm, I'm just saying, I hope they do. At the same time, it is a rumor that's flying around. And Zero, thank you so much for the bit. Oh, okay. Seriously, what a fairy tale ending uh, my Snyder will have if he can actually win this race. It'll be a ticket to the playoffs, as well as um, not having to worry about running in the back of the rest of the year. Because, like, Chad, we're already into the playoffs, so we don't have anything to worry about here. We can have a bad race. You know, I want the playoff points for um, for a win. But if you look in my, uh, if you look down below in my Twitch uh, section, it'll show you the uh, current standings and points, and we're already in. So we have nothing to worry about currently. Be right back for the final time because after this, I should be here until the race ends.
this in time on Klagerman. Tyler Ankrum we've been kind of holding steady on. Truck is definitely a lot better than what it was, though. So we're on the right track. But at this point, I think it may be too late. About to go a second lap down. Running in 16. My insider is just on an absolute tear. Terrible three and four. Just a very scruffy lap. Tire up here. Clear high, bud. All clear. No caution for that? Okay. We're going up high then. They call ahead of you in pity. Well, it's too free freezing figured it out. Never mind. Sewer Friesen just chilling on track. So, never mind. There goes uh, his consistency. Seems like Stewie is out. So while winning the race tonight in real life and making to the champ four, he is no longer in it. And honestly, 14th is not that bad right now. We're about to go a lap down again. But it's honestly not even that bad. If we can finish here, that'd be great.
All the AI dive bombs, too. Like right there, Mind Snyder just dive bombed the corner. I'm not that uh, heartbreaking. Imagine if Natalie Decker became the NASCAR champ. Yeah, seven times. I can see it. I don't need to imagine it because it's going to be a reality. Have you not seen her progression as a driver? Only that would true. She might be the next Jimmy Johnson. Yeah. Anyone who doesn't see that is a, is a fool. I mean, just get her in a cup car, you know. I'm sure she'll outperform it, you know? The lower series just aren't for her. Much like Jimmy Johnson. Just not performing in the... in Xfinity or... in a truck. Just get her in a cup car. She'll be fine. to go who do you want to bet uh how much do you want to bet there's gonna be a late race caution Just for a slight touch. Are they on your outside? Stay low. All right, clear outside. Inside. And Thor's part is. Now. Dominating right now. First through fourth. Where is Matt Crafton at? Got one down low now. You got room. You're clear. Deacons 
best career finish of 16th uh, last race at Chicagoland. She's backing up with a abysmal 27. After she got within spitting distance of uh, the playoff cut line. Decker is gaining, by the way. Because I'm getting held up in lap traffic. And I'm sure she's bulldozing people. Well, There's Matt Crafton, by the way. There is legitimately a shot that uh, first through fifth is all four sport trucks. If so, that. Oh my god. It is actually chat. There he is. First, second. Oh, first is uh, my Snyder. Second is Ben Rhodes. Third, Grant Infinger. Fourth, Johnny Sauter. Fifth, Matt Crafton. What do they all have in common? They're all Fords, and they're all Thor Sport. Ten to go, chat. Here's 21st right now. Overall, this wasn't a bad race. It definitely was subpar from us. But also the AI is like super, super good around Richmond. Like I'm on the hardest of guilty right now and it is blasted hard. You know, everyone has their good and their bad trucks. Careful, 
Massey, just get out of the way. Careful, still there. Careful, still there. Careful, still there. All right, Should be three to go at the line. Harrison Burton, the first KBM Got one down low now. truck in the All stable. Right, clear, clear. The uh, one of his teammates, uh, Christian Eck, is actually DNF'd. Like I said, it's been a very, very subpar race. However, starting P23 doesn't really set you up well for the race. That just shows your uh, your speed or lack thereof. Now, with that being said, my Snyder literally punches his ticket to the playoffs, barring he's uh, 25th in the standings, and we come on 14th. Ugh. Very subpar. 98 speed rating. Apparently that is awful. Alright. Let's see who got the bonus points. Maya Snyder with the uh, fastest lap. And the most laps led. So he... He got... Base, okay, he swept the entire bonus points right there. And Travis Quaffle up there with 7th seven, with seventh place finish. I don't know his exact, uh, I don't know his exact, uh, place in the standings. However, I know it is actually really close to the cutoff line. But look at that. Top five being all Thor sport. Uh, Ross Chastain getting that crucial top ten. Just taking pictures right now. But the main takeaway from this as well is that there was a lot of decent people up here that got good runs out of all of this. Now, of course, then you have these two down here, Stuart Friesen and Christian Eckes. Uh, they're just digging themselves a hole. Stuart Friesen has a lot of points to give up before he has to even think about uh, going below the cut line. But still... You always want to be prepared for uh, such things. And that's essentially what we all got to hope for. 14th place, very disappointing. But it's Richmond. We move on. Now, next week, we're going to ISM. And that's going to introduce our first full-length full length race where we are going to be doing um, like full-on like uh, 150 laps around uh, the joint. And then the following day, we're doing our double points race. So, as the name implies, literally double points. Now, the winner of which does not advance automatically into the playoffs. So, it's like one of those uh, one of those races that it's purely a points race. Do as best you can, and all the points are worth double. So, it'll be it's pivotal that we had our win now with Watkins Glen. And same with Mike Snyder, because he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. So yeah, for anyone that came in late, here was the settings I was running with. All this stuff was to make it as hard as, on me as possible. However, I have a 105 difficulty, so it was already pretty gosh dang hard. Strict DL, single stage, and quick qualify.